Welcome back to Scott Wonders World. Um, it's just Scott. For the time being, actually. Um, I'm not going to go into details why. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, a little comparison video. Uh, I've had these beers for a little while, in all honesty. Uh, I've been meaning to do a comparison video with them and just haven't got around to it, haven't found the time. Other things going on. So, Late, what are we, we're January 2022, late November, early December 2021, um, Jeremy Clarkson, Top Gear, uh, Grand Tour, Diddy Squat Farm, Jeremy's um, Farm, Clarkson's Farm, uh, collaborated with a brewery, so uh, Cotswold Brewery, and produced a beer from the barley from Diddy Squat Farm, being, no, the Hawkstone Lager. <coughs> Done a review, uh, kindly sent to me by Dave the Blue Van Man. Um, did a review, uh, not the best lager in there, but certainly not the worst. So, yeah, overhyped, um, nice drinkable lager, fairly basic, that's where it stood. Price point was an issue, 30, I think it was £35 for 12 bottles. So that's high end for, so a high end premium lager for a lager that's probably not worth that money. Uh, and is obviously overinflated because of the name that's associated with it. Um, Cotswold Brewery also do a premium lager, which is this one. Uh, so this one's 5%, I think this one's 48 4.8%. So I thought what I'd do is I'd do a little comparison against the Cotswold Lager against the Hawkstone Lager. So both brewed at the same brewery, I'm assuming. Um, I thought we'd take a look, see if we see colour difference, aroma difference, taste difference. I don't know what the price was. I'll, what I'll do is before I put the video out, I'll put a price comparison up as well. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, I should have done the research before, but you know me. Mm. That would mean being completely prepared, and I never am. So first things first, um, I am, I'm not, I might be a beer snob, I'm not a glass snob. Unlike certain people, like I mentioned, Barry, all the beard, no idea of Dean. Um, so I haven't got two pills in the glasses or lager glasses that would, um, that, are, that are strictly the same. So what I've done is I'm going to use my uh, Fallen Acorn tumblers, but they have both got widgets in, so widgeted, so it should help um, with the carbonation. And obviously they're both the same glass, and hopefully they're going to look sort of look fairly equal. First thing first, these have been in the fridge for weeks or weeks or weeks, so they're nice and cold. Hawkstone Lager, obviously, uh, hewn from the mineral. Rick, I've read it all before anyway. The Cotswold Brew Brash Soil, in which it rests is harsh and unforgiving but for those who persist it yields malted barley of unusually high quality idea for brewing hard to make easy to drink so i've shortened what it says i'll put it there if you want to um stream capture it or pause it and have a read um, look don't know what it says if it says anything on the premium lager to be fair nothing coswell bruco Ingredients are water, hops, malted barley and yeast. Contains gluten and it gives her a dress which I can't read because it's on pink writing on the background. So again, if you can pause that then fill your boots. First thing first, let's get the beers out. See if, if they look different. Using my um, kindly sent to me by Chris, which I won't use the, other, the rest of the word because it's rude. So in the glass, this is the uh, this is the Hawkstone Lager. It's Jerry uh, Clark says Hawkstone Lager. Not as much head on this one that was I poured in uh, on the last one, but then it is a different glass, so <coughs> I'll forgive it that. And the Cotswold Lager. Premium Lager. So there is a difference in ABV, so only a couple of percent. 
But I don't this. Right. Then the glass of the uh, Hawkstone. Again, clear as a whistle, which is what it was last time. It's a pin sharp. Head's dissipated. That's because of the glass I'm using. Looks okay. The premium lager. Again, pin sharp, I can see straight through it. This one is a slightly um, brighter color than the Hawkstone Lager. Uh, carbonation is about similar. Let's have a look at the two together then. Now in this light, and it is obviously fading light, this is actually, looks like it's clearer. So the Hawkstone Lager is clearer on the eye than the Cotswold Lager, which has a tiny, it is tiny, a tiny haze to it. Um, carbonation, probably about the same. On the nose in. It's, it's malt forward, it's a nice sweet, sweet malt. Slightly grassy, tiny bit of spice. Smells okay. It's actually, I think I said in the last video, I haven't re watched the last video, but perfectly acceptable. So, this is the Cotswold Premium Lager. <coughs> Excuse me. Slightly more head generating on the, um, the, on the Premium Lager than on the um, Hawkstone. Again, slight, slightly sweet malt. There's a difference in the, obviously there's a difference in the malt. Um, so the uh, gr grassy again. And I'm not picking up so much of that spiciness, sort of pepperiness, pepperiness on the um, on the aroma of the the Cotswold. But again, it smells pretty decent. So the head's died off completely on this one. Going for the taste of this one. It's okay. It's not well beaten. Again, it's, as I said, it's not worth the £35 <coughs> for 12 bottles. It'll end up in b and bargains or home bargains, I would have thought at some point. But it's got a, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. If you get that, that it is malt for, very sweet. Um, you get that slightly peppery nature at the end. The grassy hops. It's okay. Is it the best? No. Is it the worst? No. So, Cotswold Premium Lager. Cheers. Carbonation is harsher. Much more carbonated on, on instantly on the palate. <coughs> the malt is ever so slightly sweeter um, in the Cotswold Brewery uh, beer than it is. Oh, Cotswold Brewery beers. The premium lager than it is on the Hawkstone Brewing. The carbonation is a lot softer on this on the Hawkstone than it is on this one. And that um, sort of spicy, peppery nature is more prominent on the Cotswold Premium Lager. Um, <coughs> they're subtle differences. They're not. They're not massive differences. Um, carbonate. I prefer the carbonation on, on the both nice and crisp 
crisp and clean. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, mouth feel is, is probably better on this one as well because of that carbonation. It really does push it around the mouth. Um, Flavour wise, you're getting the, the, that sort of citrusy lemon. Um, the nice sweet malt. A uh, bit grassy. And that works for both of them, to be fair. There's not a huge difference, in all honesty, between them. Um, the the major difference for me, and there's a big difference, is there's more carbonation in the uh, Cotswold Premium Lager. And it, it, I think it's ever so slightly sweeter as well. Slightly sweeter, more carbonation, and that dry and peppery end. Uh, but I've got to be honest, excuse me, my nose is running because it's quite cold. Um, both drinkable. I need, I need to find out the price of the Cotswold um, Premium Lager. Um, not a massive difference, in all honesty. They're both very drinkable. Um, I'd buy this one because it's. Let's face it, it's going to be a damn sight cheaper than this one. Um, this is worth trying if you can get it for a decent price. Um, that one's quite a nice um, style, of, style, really, um, and eminently drinkable. So, yeah, uh, both these. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. Which is the winner? What's the better beer? For me, it's this one. The Cotswold Premium Lager is a better beer for me than the... Um, the Clarkson one because it's doing more in the style, a bit sweeter, carbonation's nicer, peppery end. Um, it's okay, I quite like that. Um, I'd quite happily buy more of those. If you've tried these two, let me know what you think of them. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, have you tried the Hawkstone Lager? What do you think of it? Um, and yeah, leave a comment in the comments box. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe channel if you like the content, and myself and Wanda will see you very soon.